Who likes to collect constitutional silver? I know I do. Stick around and find out what my favorite coins are. Hi, I'm the Low Country Stacker, and I totally do love my constitutional silver. The Morgan dollar is my most favorite coin to stack and collect. The Morgan dollar was issued from 1878 until 1904, and then it was reissued again in 1921 just before the peace dollar came out. This is a nice New Orleans Mint one right here. It is 1885. It's an AU coin. And it's one of the few uncertified coins that I have in my collection. My number one coin to collect is a uh, Morgan dollar eight tail feather as we can see right here the eight tail feathers on the reverse of it this is one of the first one million coins ever struck because the Type 2 came after that, and the Type 2 had seven tail feathers. And then they had a Type 3, which had the uh, slanted arrow feathers, which this one here has the parallel feathers on it. I'll show one here in a little bit that'll have the slanted feathers on it. But yeah, the 1878 is a beautiful coin. This one is very beautiful. This was uh, MS-63 by NGC. My second favorite Morgan dollar is the 1881S. You see this one here starting to get some toning all around the outer edges. It is an MS-63 also. You see it's starting to get a little spotting on the back, but you can see the slanted arrow feathers there. The very top feather is slanted where on the uh, Type 1 69 that same feather is straight. But these are very nice here. They are some of the best struck of all the Morgan dollars would be the 1881 out of San Francisco. And they are a top quality and easy one for new collectors to get. And my final one is any year with a nice rainbow toning on it. This happens to be an 1880S. MS-64 Plus, and the Plus designates excellent eye appeal with the golds into the orange into the teals, not teal, excuse me, seafoam green, and back out into the golds. It's just a beautiful, beautiful coin. I should flip it like that. Nice and clean. This, this is one of my most favorite coins I have. But Morgan dollars are my top, top ones to collect. After Morgan dollars, we fall into the uh, Franklin halves. I love my Franklin halves. This is a 1948. This one here happens to be from Philadelphia. Has no mint mark on it. But it's just a gorgeous coin. They're readily available, easy to find, and very desirable to collect. Right here I got another 1948. 
And this one here is also, this is from the Denver Mint. Let's see, let me focus this on there. Very hard to see. Yeah. Yeah, that's from the Denver Mint. I like, also like to get the uh, slabbed ones when I can find them. Find them. And as I say, I do like the toning when a coin starts to tone like this. A little blue coming in above America. This 1958 here. It has coppers and browns and it's just gorgeous. It's hard to see on camera the coin, but uh, in real life, this coin is gorgeous. The last one I got to show today is the 1956. It's got a lot of toning going around the edge. This is an MS-65 also. It's getting some heavy blue toning starting to go around the United States and all. But yes. Now there's many, many other coins that you can collect. If I have my choice, I'm going to go with the Morgan Dollars. And the backup to the Morgan Dollars will definitely be the Franklin Half Dollars. Thank you for watching my video, and please like and subscribe. Thank you.